Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and today we're going to talk about some of the human interface peripherals that you're going to need to put your MicroBit X on the air. The three individual ports on our MicroBit X that interface to audio accessories or basically allow us to communicate with the world outside of us or to hear what's going on in the world outside of us use a three and a half millimeter stereo connector. And you can get these things at Amazon. You can buy a bag of 10 of them for like $5. So they're not terribly expensive. And you can and use these to interface your own accessories. Of course, if you desire to put RJ45s into the micro bit X, you could certainly do so and build whatever type of audio interfacing to your heart's desire. That's the nice thing about a kit. Anyway, on our microphone, our tip is our push to talk. Our ring is our microphone element, and our sleeve is our ground. Now, when we toggle the radio into we'll transmit mode, what we're doing is, is essentially we're just closing the circuit between the push-to-talk connection and the ground, and this toggles the radio and transmit. On our Morse key, our tip is our key, and then our sleeve, and our ring is not connected. So what happens is, is when we close our CW key, toggles the radio into a transmit mode. Now getting to our output here, which is our speaker, we can see that our tip and our ring both are tied together. And the reason why you do that is, is if you're using a set of headphones or something to where you have two speakers, this right here is going to pass audio to both of those speakers. Whereas if you did not tie those together, only the side that was tied to the tip would have any kind of audio. And then of course our sleeve is grounded. The first audio accessory you should consider is going to be some kind of a speaker or a headphone, uh, some, some way for you to hear because the radio kit itself doesn't come with any kind of speaker, so you're going to have to consider that. And, you know, I've got one of these laying around. These things you can pick up pretty cheap. It's just a generic, like a CB radio extension speaker. There's nothing to it. It just uses a 3.5 millimeter uh, monaural plug or a mono plug. And you can just plug that in the back. And now you've got audio. Well, since we've equipped ourselves with a speaker so we can receive information, now we need to be able to send information. And if we want to send it via Morse code, we can do so with a key. Uh, this is kind of a large key. You can get much more compact versions. And do it with simply just a simple way to close the keying circuit to be able to send characters over the air. human interface accessory that is most likely to be used for sending of information with this radio is going to be a microphone for carrying voice traffic in single sideband and we have three different examples here and this is your down and dirty one all this is just a piece of cat5 cable and the provided micro switch and electric condenser microphone element and this actually works pretty good. I just wrapped up some fiberglass tape here for when you hold on to it to protect the wiring and stuff. So this is down and dirty. Pretty much the only additional items besides the kit that were used in this is just a 18 inch section of uh, Cat5 cable and a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. Here's our down and dirty microphone schematic. We have our 3.5 millimeter stereo connector up here. And we have our push to talk line going off of the tip, and it goes to one side of our micro switch. The other side of our micro switch is tied to ground. And then from that one terminal of that micro switch, I've run a second lead back up to the ground side of the microphone element. The mic line comes off of the ring and runs to the other side of the element. And this is just a Baofeng hand mic, and I've taken and adapted it to the radio by replacing this end. Repurposing the Baofeng microphone for the MicroBit X is pretty easy to do. The 3.5mm and the 2.5mm connectors at a 90 degree bend here 
These right here don't work out so hot. Number one, the speaker that's inside of this does not work very well with the micro bit X, so it's kind of silly to uh, retain that functionality. So what I've done to make it simple for myself and what I would recommend you do is, is you just go ahead and you cut this connector off and dispense with it all together. Now after cutting off this connector, we're going to go ahead and remove the insulation for about an inch and expose our conductors. Now the conductors are not of a very good quality, so be cognizant of that and they don't take a lot of heat well. So what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to dispense with the lead for the speaker. So in going inside the microphone, go ahead and you'll see where your speaker attaches to it and the one speaker lead here. We're going to go ahead and delete that and then what you'll do is, is remove the speaker lead from inside on the printed circuit board. Having a generic or standardized color to utilize for the Baofeng speaker mic is kind of difficult because the colors are all over the map because the vendors and the manufacturers of these particular items are all over the map too. So be cognizant of that and when you're doing your pin out for this, ensure that you're actually taking your multimeter and checking for continuity between your individual conductors to ensure that you are soldering the correct conductor to the rec correct point in your three and a half millimeter connector. Guard the speaker because we're not going to use it and it just adds weight to it. On the back side of it, on the circuit board, on your three and a half millimeter connector, you're going to run your sleeve to your ground, which is this one here on the right. The one in the center is going to be your push to talk and that's going to go to your tip. And then on your microphone side is going to be the ring of your three and a half millimeter connector. Test one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. In this one here, I just repurposed a existing microphone by building an audio adapter for the RJ45. It plugs in the front of it, and that also gives good service. An electric condenser mic that you want to repurpose for your micro bit X, and you can certainly do that. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to build like an audio adapter that will plug into the mic port so you don't end up having to remove this RJ45 connector here and dedicate this microphone to the micro bit X. Now, for this particular microphone, which is an HM103 for like an IC706, this is our pinout and this is what we need to know. So looking at our RJ45 connector like this, pin 1, 2, 3, the only pins we're really worried about are 4, 5, and 6. Now 7 is a ground and I'm just going to go ahead and tie the ground to the microphone ground. So you're only going to need three conductors. The simplest way to accomplish making an audio adapter such as this is with just a little section of Cat5 cable and we're going to cannibalize an end off of it in some of the cable. An RJ45 coupler and a 3.5 millimeter stereo plug. Go ahead and strip back about an inch of insulation. Separate all of your pairs. And this is all we have to do. Knowing what we know about Cat5, our push to talk is going to be blue. Our microphone ground is going to be our blue with trace. Our microphone audio is going to be the green wire. And our ground wire is going to be our brown trace wire. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to bring pin number 5 and 7 together on the sleeve. And then we're going to take number 6 as our microphone and bring it to our ring. And then we're going to bring number 4, our blue wire, to our tip, push to talk. Okay, remove the wires you don't need. And you can see that we've got our blue and brown trace together for our ground. And we have our push to talk lead and we have our mic audio lead. Go ahead and take the shell of your three and a half millimeter stereo connector and slide it on. And then go ahead and prep your connector for attachment. Test one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. In our next video, we're going to interface the micro bit X to a signal link and a couple other little special projects I think you'll get a kick out of. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.